Starting off this hour is Nora in California. Hi, Nora. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Well, thank you so much, Dave, for taking my call. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Oh, thank you. Well, uh, my husband and I have just been blessed uh, with a lottery winning of $1.2 million. And it's a, it's a lottery ticket. And we have the option of having these $1.2 million uh, given out over 25 years as an annuity, or we could also get the lump sum of $696,000. We are blessed enough to have our uh, home is paid off. We have a lot of investments, as a matter of fact, with one of your smart investors here in California. And um, we have an monthly income, gross income of 17863 um, The reason we're trying to figure out which is going to be the best move for us is uh, my uh, husband was a state employee, and his, his two pensions will be reduced in the event that something happens to him. Our pensions will be reduced by half. And his thought was, well, uh, the $4,000 a month will make up for that lost income, or we take the lump sum and invest for the 11 years that we paid college tuition that we couldn't use for investments, and maybe work on some house projects. It's not an easy decision, is it? (laughs) Actually, it is. It's a, really okay. easy, it's a really easy decision. You will make almost twice as much if you take the lump sum and invest it. Okay. We did we did talk to um, to our advisor, and I asked her, I said, in order for me to, let's say, get $4,000 a month, how much would I need to invest? And she was saying between eight and 900000 to invest. Um, well, that's being be pretty conservative. If the, if you made 10% on the money and you invested, uh, you said 690000 was a lump sum, right? Right. That's before taxes, and we live in California, so we're estimating. Oh, so you're not going to get home with six ninety. No, it's going okay. to probably well, be at ten, a 10% to, to get At 10%, you need 480 to create $4,000 a month. Oh, okay. and by the way, the money that you take out from the, if you take the long-term annuity crap with them, every time you get that check yeah, at home, it's taxable. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And 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 in 25 years, it's not going to be worth as much right. as in exactly. present day. So if you take so, the money and invest it with a smart investor pro in good mutual funds, you will end up with considerably more money. So invest about 480 well, I mean, if you did now, that's see, that's not apples to apples because your four thousand dollars coming home is not going to come home. It's going to be taxed. You're only going to get home with three thousand. Exactly. exactly. And so, um, you know, if you invest three sixty, that'd be three thousand a month, thirty six thousand dollars a year. Mm-hmm. At ten, if you're making ten percent on your money. Now, I'm not sure you'll make ten percent. Some years you'll make fourteen. Some years you'll make eight. Or six, mm-hmm. depending on what the stock market's doing in good mutual funds. You've got investments now. You know how that works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but um, but I know that I will come out more investing the, the money after taxes, uh, and, and th- than I will leaving it with those guys in that annuity. Believe me, that annuity is not paying what mutual funds will pay. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. So the trick is, the, the only reason I would tell you to do that is because everything else in your life indicates you'll leave it alone. Uh, if you were broke and had car payments everywhere and you had absolutely no money and you had mismanaged all your money up to this point, then, you know, you're probably going to mismanage a lump sum. But your, your indication is you're not going to mismanage this lump sum, that you would invest it, leave it alone, live off the income that it creates, which is what you should do by the way. 